Y'all want to fill up some shelves? Let's fill up some shelves. So guys, this is completely unedited, just me filling up my movie shelves. I was going to edit it, but I thought maybe somebody might find it therapeutic. I don't know. We're just going to start filling them up, guys. It's not going to be the most prettiest organized thing, because everything in here got it's just a jumbled mess putting the shelves together. But, you know, it is what it is, so here goes nothing. So I've got the shelves built, obviously. I did that this morning. I almost thought about filming that, but I was like, you know, I'll just get things rolling, get the shelves built. That way, uh, you know, when I get done, we could talk and I could film. Uh, there's a few things I could already add. Uh, I've got some announcements. The first announcement is uh, this week's my birthday. Very excited about that. Some of you have got me some stuff off my wish list, which is so amazing. God bless y'all for that. I can't wait to see what y'all surprise me with. But some of y'all don't want me to know, which I can appreciate a good uh, mystery. Um, number two, this coming Sunday, Tom McClellan, the director of Friday the 13th Part 6, is going to be on my channel. So uh, we're going to have a conversation this Sunday night at 9 p.m. Central Time. And there may be a special guest with me as well helping in that interview. So we're going to figure that out soon. I'm real excited. Here's actually today's mail day. I'll show you this real quick. Uh, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen any of these movies. Willard, Ben, the sequel, the Crispin Glover remake of Willard. And uh, Seventh Sign with Demi Moore. Dying to see that movie. Dying to see that movie. I love Demi Moore. Love her, love her, love her. Um, here you go. Nobody ever talks about these movies. The Poison Ivies. I mean, they're, they're really cool. Really good movies. Um, here's a good one. Orca, Killer Whale. Uh, let's see. More Scream Factory. Here we go. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. I mean, it's a dream to talk to Tom McClellan, the director of Part 6. Uh, he's also a musician, so that's really cool. Um, it's going to be really fun just talking to that guy. So, very excited. He was very gracious. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to it. So, that's this Sunday at 9 p.m. Central Time. And I think he's on the, he's in California, so it'll be 7 for him when we start. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to that. So that's awesome. Um, hopefully these shelves don't fall, for God's sakes, right? I mean, we don't want these shelves to fall. I was just pulling from a stack somewhere. Can't remember which, which, which stack I was pulling from. Here we go. And you can kind of remember this, like, I have more Scream Factories, you know, I have more Scream Factories behind you. Like, there's a bunch and bunch of them over there, and I'm not going to pull those off. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to leave them there. But if I put things together kind of by label, I'll find things quicker, and that's fine. So... You know, it is what it is. Um, some movies I plan on watching soon. Um, so guys, I've gotten, I've fallen in love with like classic horror movies. So that's why I got my Universal Monster shirt on. But I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in some of the classic style monster films that are more or less modern. So uh, there's a movie called Victor Frankenstein. That I'm gonna watch. Um, very excited about. And also this right here, I made sure to show it. Uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which stars Robert De Niro as the monster. And uh, you know, I plan on reviewing that because it's kind of like a companion review to my um, what you call it, my uh, Dracula 1992 review, which I was uh, happy that they went over well because you know I didn't know that that movie had a lot of fans, and now I'm seeing it's got millions of fans here today. I mean, it's, it's Dracula. It's Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford 
Coppola. I mean, why wouldn't it? You know? So that's coming up. Oh, boy. So that's coming up. And uh, I'm excited for that. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to put these up here, but you guys, if you see me do something you think I should change, obviously let me know. Like, I'm wondering, like, box sets. Should I put on top? Should I do the thing like people do where they put the box sets, like, on top of the shelf like this? You know what I mean? Maybe we'll do that. I'll just do it for now. Steel books. Gotta get those. Obviously, just nice big steel books I'll put up there. Not every steel book. I mean, no, no, no. no. I mean, box sets. Steel books are just going on shelves. Will they all fit on one? Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, so one thing you'll notice about these shelves is they're not deep. They actually, the movies hang over just a little bit. Excuse me, but that's fine. I mean, that doesn't bother me. Um, where do we go next? How about... Actually, that's all Scream Factory. I've got a little bit of overhang right there. i tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to leave that shelf a little loose like that. Let's do these blue undergrounds next. And again, these aren't all of my blue undergrounds. I've got more. Tell you what, after that, let's do this. Uh, 88 films. Got a stack right there. Now, guys, I want to make something clear. Like, I have a lot of movies, but this is since 2009. This is almost 11 years. Is it, is it over? It's a long time worth of buying movies. So, you know, it's uh, it's just one of those things. Next, we'll do a Warner Archive. Warner Archive titles. You know, I love my Warner Archives. This is a good TV movie. Don't be afraid of the dog. Showdown Love Tokyo, great movie. The Hidden, classic. Are you kidding me? From Beyond the Grave, a good anthology. Wolfen, not a bad wolf movie at all. Uh, Night School, The Thing for Another World. And uh, that's the new Curse of Frankenstein they put out. Two disc special edition. I'm down with that. Uh, let's do some of these little eyes and ends right here. Some uh, vinegar syndromes. Again, I've got way more over there. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, here. Uh, how about this? This is my humble criterions. I've got, I've got some more coming, though. Scanners, Night of Living Dead, Signs of the Lambs, A Race Ahead, which I... Freaking love the races. Do we need to talk about David Lynch for a second? Like I'm, I'm, I'm honestly like a new David Lynch fan. Okay. Do we need to talk about this for a second? So, and look, I'll leave a little bit of space right there because I know I got, I got a couple coming. So, let's talk about David Lynch. So, I, we're doing Arrow video now, by the way, guys. So I, um. First got into David Lynch when I when I started watching Twin Peaks, which I've watched all of it. I'm a fan of it, you know, all that jazz. And um, my wife really took to the guy. She loved David Lynch. Um, she wanted to see everything the guy put out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I thought he was a little overrated at first. I was like, what's so special about David Lynch? I, I don't understand. Well, and I like David Lynch, don't get me wrong. Well, I finally sat down the other day, and my wife was like, I'm watching Eraserhead, and you're going to deal with it. I'm like, okay, whatever. She puts on Eraserhead, and actually, she got tired. She just went to bed. She left the, she left the living room. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm watching Eraserhead. 
and I'm watching a racer head, and five minutes goes by, I'm like, I ain't got time for this weird movie. I, don't, I ain't got time for this stuff. Well, another five minutes goes by, the imagery starts getting really interesting, and I'm like, what? Then all of a sudden there's dialogue after like 20 minutes of a movie. I'm like, oh, this movie's got some, some stuff going on that I'm not ready for, apparently. And I really, really just fell in love with that movie. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I just did. So, uh, I, I'm a big David Lynch fan. And as soon as we saw that, all right, now we're just doing special edition type of Blu-rays, random ones. Uh, now I have a stack of full moon Blu-rays. but So I finished watching the, uh, Eraserhead. I got done watching the film. I immediately went and bought bought it on a Criterion after the movie finished because I knew I was going to want to watch that multiple times. That scene where that weird looking uh, dude staring at the window and you see like these bumps and stuff all on him, I was like, what is that? It was amazing. Uh, visually, just stunning. And uh, so I, I fell in love with it. Wow, that's close. That barely fits. So now, I can't wait to watch The Elephant Man. I like Dune. It's not my favorite of his. Uh, I love Blue Velvet, but Blue Velvet, I feel, is like his most accessible film to people. Like, if you're going to show somebody that's not a David Lynch fan, uh, a David Lynch movie, I think Blue Velvet's probably the most linear type of movie. I mean, it's got its weird accents, don't get me wrong. But I feel like that, that's a good one to jump into. So, so yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, again, I'm going to leave a little bit of space on these shelves. A little bit of room, a little bit of room, a little bit of room. So we're doing the Elephant Man next, and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I have a few stragglers. So... That's all good. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm excited to see from him that I, I, you know, just never went into seeing yet. Off the top of my head, I can't, I can't really think of anything, but I don't know. I'm excited. I'm a David Lynch fan. I can unequivocally say I'm a David Lynch fan now. Uh, these are full moon movies, full moon features. Um. That's fine. I'll play Puppet Master up there. You can't really see it, but, you know, let me adjust the camera. Just put the box sets up there. Yeah. I'm such a big Full Moon fan that I was like, you know what? Full Moon needs its own section on the shelf, so I'm just doing a whole section of Full Moon movies. Full Moon, Full Moon. Full Moon. I think they'll all fit on one show. Yeah. Alright, full moon features. All full moon movies. And I hope to get more. Got Puppet Master up there. Okay. Regular Blu rays, Tom. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we can discuss. Um. St. Maud. Did I tell you guys I saw St. Maud? I like St. Maud. It's not my favorite A24 film. Uh, I mean, Hereditary, I think, is so good that it's just like, I don't think a movie's ever going to touch it. You know, that movie was so good from A24, you know. I, I don't know. I don't think it's ever going to be topped. I don't think it's ever going to be touched. Hopefully, though. I mean, you don't want it to be, you know, the only one, but... I am excited about uh, the prospect of seeing more A24 films. Uh, St. Maud was good. St. Maud was really good. Um, I'm assuming everybody's seen the movie by now. You know, I know we won't spoil anything. I don't want people to have to skip and fast forward to do this. So. Yeah, this is going to be coming up soon. i got to watch Frankenstein. I'm real excited about Frankenstein. I just woke up, too, by the way, guys. I look like garbage. My hair's a mess. I'm all over the place. But I ramble too, so. What do you guys think? Looking alright so far or what? Drop a like on this video if you if you 
you have a good time watching me babble. And uh, do y'all remember this? Do y'all remember this set? This is a kill of Halloween set. The book. This is the book version. Media book. Thirty fifth anniversary. Yeah, I remember opening day. I flew to Walmart. Walmart actually had that. It was Anchor Bay. And Anchor Bay used to always be in my WalMarts. They still kind of are, but Antrim, the deadliest film ever made. I kind of like that movie. Though. Looking all right, y'all. There's a lot of movies already up there. Alien vs. Predator. Was it a? There you go. What y'all know about Alien vs. Predator? You don't like Alien vs. Predator. I think I heard some of y'all say you liked it. I mean, it is what it is, you know? Um, I finally picked up the Wicker Man on Blu-ray. Did I tell y'all that? Got the Wicker Man. I've seen it. I just never opened it. Here's a movie I want you guys to pick up if you have it. Let me uh, grab it in the next stack. I'll show you. Uh, there's this movie with Barbara Crampton. It's really good. Um, it's right here. This is called We Are Still Here. It's like a ghost story, haunted house movie. It's really, really, really. It's one of Barbara's better movies like of today. Uh, really good. So we are still here. Pick that up. Check out it's cheap. Cheap Blu ray. Brave Encounters, too. Love this movie. Brave Encounters is better, but the second one's not bad. Universal Monsters set. Love that set. Matter of fact, that definitely deserves a spot up there. Great set. I've got a ton of box sets up right over there, yo. Don't worry about that. Um, let's see. Keep going. Rings! Y'all remember rings? I'm not sure some of y'all don't. Probably even know it hit theaters. It was in and out like that. Alright, let's do, uh... We're basically getting the DVDs. Alright, so Phantasm, Yellow Creek Phantasm deserves a spot up there, huh? Right? All right, so these is, let's do box sets next. Box set, our box set. Do y'all agree that uh, this one goes on the shelf, and then the big one goes up there? I'll assume you agree. All right, let's see. War Puppet Master. I have my puppet master. Y'all know I love him. I'm glad it didn't fit, you know. Don't want it to dead. Gotta say, go read it free, yo. Guess what video I got coming up next? I just remember this. I'm gonna do a uh, five tips for a Blu ray. Five tips for being. Five tips for Blu-ray collectors. Because I feel I got some some ideas to offer, so that's going to be coming up for me soon. Are you going to fit on there? Yeah, you're going to fit right in 13, right there. Oh, I got some stragglers. Oh well, screw it. We've gotten this far. We may as well keep going. May as well keep going. Ginger Dead Man. Demonic Toys. Everything looks good on the shelf, though, you know. This set probably goes up top. You know, this is a nice set. Let's put that up top. Halloween, 30, uh, 30th anniversary. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> 
I don't have a choice. This has to go up here. I'm just going to have to block those posters. I mean, it is what it is. I, I don't know what you guys want me to do about that, you know. Well, at least we'll have the Halloween by the Halloween. Oh. Yeah. We'll have the mini box set and the smaller box set to go to. A uh, hammer box set. Put this one back up here. Amityville and Gamera. Put those over there. All right, this is that one shelf that I'll have to put little knickknacks on, so I'm gonna have to skip that. It is what it is. Friday the 13th, box set. We'll put this up here. That looks good up there. Maybe put some critters up there because I love critters up up there. Critters right there. We'll do fly. That's my favorite remake. So we got some room if we want to add more, you know, all that good stuff. Alright guys, look, I've got to put the rest of these DVDs up. This has been fun. I, I love you guys. I mean, how is this looking? Looking good? Look, let's cut it here. Uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging with me. I rambled as much as I could. Um, stick with me, check Instagram, I'll post pictures of it done tonight. I love you guys. Tips, tricks, let me know. It's coming. I mean, I'm filling it up with movies, so I love you guys. See y'all soon.